Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today we got something incredibly delicious and comforting on the menu. We're turning our leftover smoked tri-tip steak into a hearty, moth-watering chili using a slow cooker, or what some call a crock pot. This is a perfect on a fall day, or if you want something that takes a few minutes to prepare and packs a lot of flavor. So if you're ready, I'm ready, let's go. I am not messing around, we are getting right to it. We are going to add all the ingredients into a slow cooker. Here's what you'll need. Diced tomatoes, kidney beans drained and rinsed, black beans drained and rinsed, tomato paste, beef broth, green bell pepper diced, yellow bell pepper diced, onion diced, a couple of cloves of garlic minced, and then you want the star of the show, which is leftover smoked tri-tip steak. I have about a pound here. Now it's time to add some seasoning. You're gonna need salt and pepper to taste, cumin, paprika, onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder. Once they have added all the ingredients into a slow cooker, give it a good stir to make sure all those delicious flavors are well distributed. Make sure to check out the full recipe at smokybeginnings.com. I'll leave a link in the comments. After stirring the chili, we're going to close the lid and turn the slow cooker to low for six to eight hours, or if you're in a rush, turn it to high for three to four hours. The beauty of the slow cooker is we really shouldn't have to do anything other than stir the chili every now and then. We can just sit back and relax while the slow cooker is doing the work for us. You will know that the chili is getting pretty close to being done because your house is going to smell amazing. It has been several hours, so let's take a look and see the progress. We want to make sure that everything is cooked through. The vegetables should be somewhat soft to the touch. I do prefer that the peppers and the onions have just a tad bit of crunchiness. It gives the chili just an added texture element. This looks great. It is now time to plate. All you have to do is add the chili to a bowl, add some cheese, sour cream, maybe some avocado, or any other type of toppings that you would like. This chili is a blank canvas, and you are the artist. And there you have it folks, leftover smoked tri-tip steak chili used in a slow cooker. It was a perfect way to turn those leftovers into a comforting meal that's packed with flavor. If you enjoyed this recipe, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments what are some barbecue leftover recipes that you would like to see. Until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.